This was not one of Jalen Johnson's finest moments. In the win over NC State Thursday, Johnson got a little confused. He went to the wrong bench, had to walk all the way back to see Rick Pitino. The easiest job in the world just got a lot harder. For almost five years, Andy Dalton never missed a day of work, meaning his backup just had to stand there and do a lot of this. It was such an iconic moment. Final shot of the 88 three-point shootout, Larry Bird. Love it. Number one in the air. Yeah, how would you not like to be Bob Baffert right now? He's got not one, but two of the favorites in this year's Kentucky Derby. What will John Calipari wear when he's enshrined into the Basketball Hall of Fame Friday night? I don't know, but chances are it's not going to be this. Baseball in February is not supposed to look like that. An unbelievably beautiful day at Jim Patterson Stadium. It felt just like spring. It's a matchup tripping with ACC regular season championship implications. Tomorrow, the Louisville Cardinals take on the Miami Hurricanes. Those folks at NASCAR sure know how to make an entrance, kick off the season with their biggest race, and in that race, one of the best finishes you'll ever see. There was no way Trey Lewis was going to miss tonight's game with Wake Forest. Sure, his heel was hurting, and so was his ankle. In fact, they were hurting so badly Rick Pitino announced yesterday Lewis would miss the Cardinals' ACC opener. Lewis was in pain, but before the game decided, why not? Let's do it. He did not start. Instead, came off the bench. And when he did, went right to work. First half, off the fake, knocks down the three. Lewis scored nine. Cards up nine midway through the first half. Danny Manning telling his guys, get a little more physical. Shinano Nawaku. That's how it's done. Finished with 12 points and 15 boards. Cards also got a first half boost from Donovan Mitchell. Look at the athleticism here. The rebound and the putback. Cards up seven at the break. Second half, Wake Forest not going anywhere. Down four. Make it one. Mitchell Wilbekin, big three. Life for the Demon Deacons with six minutes to go. Then two and a half left. Bryant Crawford, deep three. Tied it at 56. The cards could have folded. They did not. Mitchell, Zigan, Zagan, tough laying. Career high 18, cards up two. And then it's Damian Lee. Quiet first half, big second half. 10 of his 12 points after the break. That would put the Cardinals up four, and they go on to win 65 57. Eric Crawford now with a happy recap. Contrary to popular belief, not everybody wins at the Miami Beach Bowl. Sure, they get a week out of the cold and on the beach, but it is still a business trip. And Western Kentucky still had business to attend to. That'd be earning win number 12. Hilltoppers excited to play South Florida, but they got off to a bad start. Already 7-0 Bulls in the second. Brandon Dowdy is picked off. This would lead to a touchdown, so South Florida up 14-0. WKU then wakes up. Anthony Wales diving to the end zone. That's a touchdown. Western Kentucky on the board. 14-10 at the half. Third quarter. Dowdy starting to get into a groove. Right on the money to Nicholas Norris. 69-yard touchdown. Dowdy 461 yards in his final game at WKU. Hilltoppers up three. Later in the third. More from Dowdy. This time to Jared Dangerfield. What a catch. Hilltoppers up 17. Dowdy became the 14th quarterback in FBS history to pass 5,000 yards on the season. Bulls were not done. Quinton Flowers, eight-yard touchdown. That cut the lead to three. But Western Kentucky would not be denied. Wales got the scoring started for the tops. He also got it finished. 42-yard touchdown. Finished the day with 105 yards on the afternoon. Hilltoppers, a 45-35 win over South Florida.